I'm Michelle Fields for PJTV, and I'm joined today by Liz Howard, who is the Chief of Staff of the nonpartisan group Rock the Vote. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me, Michelle. So tell me a little bit about Rock the Vote and the history of Rock the Vote. So Rock the Vote is the largest nonprofit, nonpartisan organization in the country that is dedicated to building the political power of young people. And we do that by assisting them to register to vote and to help them to get to the polls. So to date, we've registered over 6 million people. Wow. And what are you guys doing now that it's, you know, midterms are coming up, it's an election year, has there been a big push and what's the response you guys have been getting? We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Um, this year we plan to register over a million and a half people, 400,000 of which we um, plan to be young people. And what are some of the successful ways that you've been able to get young people to sign up? Like my my recollection of Rock the Vote is like MTV when I was younger. I remember, you know, they were all about uh, getting people to vote and getting out and getting celebrities to come out. Yes. Is that a tool that you see um, young people responding to? Absolutely. I mean, in general, we have successfully in the past fused pop culture and politics and civic participation to help drive out the youth vote and to encourage them to register. And that's been a successful um, platform for us previously, and we plan to do that again this cycle. And are there any issues that, you know, that sort of energize people to vote? Do you notice that if there's something in the news happening that young people are more likely to go register? Do you see any trends or anything like that? Well, one of, um, one of the hot issues actually today is there's a hearing going on in North Carolina. Um, the North Carolina legislature decided to eliminate several provisions which actually encouraged and promoted young voters. So um, they recently eliminated same-day registration. Um, they eliminated pre-registration for 16 and 17 year olds. Um, and they are in court right now as we speak um, and promoting a new novel legal theory that the 26th Amendment um, protects young people against discriminatory policies. So we've found, right, when we inform young people about what these legislatures are trying to do, that they are willing to come out and vote to make sure that their voice is heard. And what are you guys doing this year? Is there any, you know, project that you guys are working on? And if people wanted to get involved, how would they be able to? So it's very easy. Um, we recently launched our new, very mobile-friendly website. So you can go to www.rockthevote.com and register today. And you can do that on your phone. Um, that's been a great successful tool. So obviously um, you can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter and we will keep you up to date on everything going on in North Carolina and across the country. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. For PJTV, I'm Michelle Fields. Thanks so much for watching.